Hey, welcome back to another episode of MechWarrior 5 Modded. So last time we were kind of messing around with the salvage system and we're having some problems with getting certain mechs to uh, be allowed to be built from the salvage parts we had. Uh, I did some looking into it and it seems like the version 1 of the salvage system is a little bit buggy and uh, doesn't seem to like to work with some of the other mods very well. There's some mechs that work well and other ones that don't. So. Uh, one recommendation was to try to change the timeline to a uh, time period where those mechs would be available. I uh, tried to do that, didn't seem to make a difference. Uh, the other option was to switch to the V2 version of the salvage system, which is uh, variant based. So when we get salvage from a battlefield or a store, it is based upon um, the variant that you pick and you can use a few pieces from other variants to help build the new one But you have to have the majority of the variants parts to build that particular mech so you know say we have a hunchback 4h and We've got most of the parts for that, but we've got a couple four, you know a couple, you know hunchback P or 4g parts um, You can use a couple of those to build the 4h um but you can't, you can't, um, you know, build a variant of a 4H if you only have one part of it and the rest of it's from a different variant. So it's a little different system. Um, the amount of parts you need to build a mech is also different. Um, whereas V1 was based off of tonnage, this one is just simply how many parts do you want to have to have to build something? Um, because it's variant based, you know, you're going to have to need those specific parts so it's a little harder but also a little easier so I went ahead and converted everything to V2 and I set it at 6 it's uh, gonna allow us to build a ton of clan mechs which should make the content a little bit more fun especially as we're waiting for the new game but um, it may be a little easier too since we already have a lot of parts so it converted them and I think we're at a point now where we can just start building stuff they cost a lot more to build though so that is one big change. So let's go ahead and look at, uh, let's just go ahead and look at doing that. Real quick though, let's see where we are in the map. See, we're at a, at a repair hub, so we can go ahead and build without worry here. And one thing I'd like to do though, is I think we want to drop some of our mechs out of our lineup. Uh, 2.5 million every, every 90 days is, is a little pricey. And uh, I don't know if there's really a reason we need to have every mech here, especially since we can jump them back and forth without having to rebuild them. So that's something I'd like to like to start doing, maybe just to lighten the load. Okay, so if we're going to look to salvage things, you'll see that we pretty much have like 20 mechs now that we can do. When it converts them, if the mech doesn't have multiple variants uh, with the mods, then it just lets us build them straight up. So you'll notice uh, a lot of these, you know, um, oh, I might have set it to seven instead of six, but you'll notice that we have plenty. You know, we have eight to seven on this one, 13 to seven. I was trying to set it in such a way that it was fair so that it wasn't super easy to build some of these, but it's also not super hard. And I think it adjusts it based on the size of the mech. So smaller mechs, need fewer larger mechs need more so like an assault like this one needs seven uh that's yeah it's an assault i know i think it's a heavy right isn't the cutoff 80 but um so it looks like we can build several so let's just go ahead and do that let's spend a little bit of the episode and build what we have available currently so the first thing that i'm going to go after is probably this mad dog we have a mad dog f available it has got a stupid amount of lasers and then a bunch of missiles so this ought to be really interesting so if we assemble the mech you'll see it's going to cost okay and this one didn't cost very much a little bit under a million so that's not super bad so there it is we've you know there's some parts that are broken on it that is the other issue we're going to run into they are not going to be able to run clan parts because we don't have a lot we really need to get more uh let's see we can also do the mad cat mark ii which is a 90 tonner. I uh, don't know. I don't want to build them all in this episode. We've also got the Kodiak 2 available. Let's see. Kind of wish that window would not pop up until I'm ready. Um, let's see. We've got the Dire Wolf. Ebon Jag is ready. Bunch of Inner Sphere mechs, too, that we had already been holding on to parts. Now it's it converted them, so now we have multiple variants of different things. We do have a Black Lantern. That's kind of cool. 
What is that it's got? AC8. That's a new one. Uh, let's see. Arctic Wolf doesn't have enough. We do now have the ability to get an Annihilator if we feel like punishing ourselves with its speed. Uh, let's see. Adder. Now, some of these we had enough parts, and then when it converted them, we no longer did. So, something to be aware of. The Blackhawk. That's kind of cool. SRM 4s. That's, that's kind of like a lower to the ground archer in a way. That's kind of interesting. What else we got? Anything else cool? Banshee. Another charger. We do have, let's see, not enough for that one. I do want to see some of these in action. Shadowhawk 2C. What do you look like? And did I think it fixed the issue we were having with one of these not showing up correctly. It was a Shadowhawk that was showing a white screen. So I think it, it did fix quite a few of our problems. So for this episode, let's see, what do we want to do? We have a Rifleman 2C, Shadowhawk 2C. Uh, you know, I feel like the Timberwolf. Let's let's see if we can assemble a Timberwolf. It's a H. And we only needed four. See, so it shows you right here. We have seven parts. Required Timberwolf parts are seven. Required H ones are four. So we had four parts that were for the H, and then we had three parts that were from another variant. That was a little pricey. So now if we go back, yeah, that one, that one's one short of what it needs. So this will be this will be a little different. If nothing else, though, it gives us clan mix right off the bat. If we go to the mech market or maybe the equipment market. Uh, I don't know if they'll still show up as parts. Yeah, it looks like there's still stuff there. So you don't know what you're going to get when you buy them, I guess, is the, the thing. And I'm not seeing any clan ones. I don't know if that's... Well, there's one. So, okay. Ooh, a wing system? For our transformable mechs. You know, the ones that can fly. That's kind of neat. I haven't seen that piece before. So we're still running into all kinds of new parts. Um, they are not putting a lot of clan parts in just because we're not at a timeline where they are supposed to be. So until we get up there, which is several years from now, I think we're in 43. We're not going to see a whole heck of a lot, but we do have a mad dog now or a vulture if you prefer. Uh, that is a mean looking one. I've never seen one with lasers in place of the missiles. That's kind of cool. And let's see. Let's look at this timber wolf. Are you kind of like a standard timber wolf? Let's look at your loadout. Okay, so this one's really trashed. Uh, so it has heavy large lasers. Double heat sinks and then two LRM-20s with Artemis. All clan. Now, can we... We can put... We've learned, I think, that we can put non-clan parts on this. So if we do a repair, we should be able to replace some of the parts with things that we have... Just not very. We don't have a whole lot. All right, so let's get out of this one. And uh, first things first, maybe we drop off a few mechs. The only thing that's nice though is by having them available, I can choose from them. So that makes it. I don't know. Maybe I should keep all these. It's nice to be able to pick from them without having to jump back in the menu. Let's work on him real quick, and then we'll get back to where we were, where we were working on. Uh, one of the quest lines. Let's see. Okay, so this has also got... Oh, it's got a double gauze. Interesting. All right, so let's just do repair all. Okay, so what do we got that we can... So here's here's an immediate problem. We have one ammo. Still 84 rounds. But we can't put it on this one. And it's 10 tons, does 20 damage. Man, it is a beaut. I wish we could keep this. Um, but I think we're going to have to rip out all of the clan tech right now. Just because we can't repair a lot of these. We do get to keep these two medium lasers and we'll probably keep those. Let's see the hyper gauze ammo. We'll go ahead and take it out. Okay, so that's that's more like an inner sphere mech. We still have a ton of tonnage that we can work with. How fast is the speed on this guy? 86 so this is gonna be a nice little medium to heavy i think it's a heavy right it's uh 60 tons i think that's i think 55 is the lower end of or the higher end of medium 
So, okay, so we got two medium lasers. What else can we put on this thing? We know you have slots for missiles. I feel like not having missiles on this is a mistake. It's it's just a great missile mech. But how many do we want to put? I mean, are twenties really needed? I I don't think so. We could do ones with Artemis. They are heavier, eight tons a piece instead of the uh, the ten tons. What is what is the standard fifteen seven? So okay, so it's only one ton more. Let's try putting two of these on. They're not clans, we know, but that's pretty cool. And we still have about 10 tons to work with. So we need to put something in the arms. Usually they were like lasers. So what kind of lasers we got to work with that we can give you? Let's see. LA. We can do improve large X-Pulse. We just don't have very many. Just one of each. So we just give you standard. Do we have standard pulse lasers? Or even larges will work. Got two big larges. Five tons a piece. I mean, there's all your tonnage. How's our cooling? 2.4, so we got lots of cooling. Uh, we do have two clan mediums, so we could go clan mediums, clan or clan mediums there. We could do like larges, or we could do PPCs. I don't know if that's worth the heat though. Only 4.5 though, 25 damage. So this would be kind of like a brawler. Nah, we we don't want to do that. Not for this guy. Let's see. Tag wouldn't be bad. We definitely could use some fire control systems. Okay, so we do have some medium pulses. They're not good. But we could put a couple on. What if we put like two here? So we could have four medium pulses. Are we doing a tonnage and heat? 2.4. That's not bad. We do a lot of alpha. And then we need ammo for the weapon systems. And we've got lots of Artemis, so we can we can shoot a ton. At least give you two. And that puts us right at 60. How are we doing on armor, though? Armor's the one thing I'm worried about. Let's see. Legs. Yeah, we're a little low. A little lower than I want. What can we do? This is an Omni Gyro. I don't think we can remove that. Yeah, it's fixed. I, I just saw that. So, okay, so we can't move that. So what are our options? We could get rid of some of the ammo. Is it, do we, we don't have a double bin, so we can't do that. ER medium laser, C. So we have pulses, then we have these, and then we shoot the missiles. Do we need full armor? I feel like we do. We're going to shoot missiles that much. I mean, yeah, I feel like we're going to go through a lot with 15. We're shooting 30 per volley. What can I put on this? Do I have anything in my inventory that we can drop a little bit of weight? Because we've already got Pharaoh. We could do modular. I don't know if I have anything that would make it smaller. Like actuators. Yeah, we've already got all of our structures fixed, so we can't do that. Targeting computer would be nice, but we don't have the room for that. Hmm. I hate to lose one laser. I feel weird. Although, you know what we could do? To make it a little less weird? Take one off. Put one in here. Now we've got them one on each arm. Or I, I like being balanced. Maybe this will work. That gives us... Two tons to work with, and then we go max armor. All right, 56, 56, 80, 40, 40, 50. Okay, good enough. I think we could probably lose a little on the head. Maybe put one or two points somewhere that needs it. And we go one more drop on that. Let me put two down here. I want the legs to get blown out from under us. All right, so I think we have a mech. It's gonna be pretty good, really. Definitely do a lot of damage. Now, if these were clan parts, it'd be even better. But not bad. It's going to eat a bit of our money. But uh, we will have a mad dog shortly. And then um, I think I want to work on this next. But it's going to be rough to get that working right. Just because it's missing so many parts. So we'll, we'll have to work on that later, I think. But we're we're making our way there. We're starting to get some clan stuff. So that's really exciting. 
Good old Shadow Cat. I think everything else can just get repaired as usual. And I apologize if you're not a big fan of the building. Um, since we're getting Clan Max, I have to build a little bit more than, you know, previous episodes. But once we get them kind of in working order, uh, we won't have to do that as much. But if you do enjoy it, well, then there's plenty more coming. Uh, let's see. I don't know what other mech would be a good one. Uh, I had a request for a bushwhacker. I do not believe it is a part of the mods that I have installed, but there is a mod for extended intersphere mechs. Uh, it adds the ones that are missing that were in MechWarrior Online. There's a handful, and I think the Bushwhacker is part of that. So if that is something that you wanted, I will look into getting that installed for next time. Hopefully it won't uh, bog down the system too much more. It's just a few more mechs. Uh, but we'll get that installed and, and see about having uh, having a Bushwhacker added to the lineup at some point soon. Okay, so I think we won't build anything else. I think we're good. Let's go see where we were. I'm trying to remember what the name was of the one we were working on. It was Uprising Quelled. Okay. And I think we just want to go there. It is a assassination contract, it looks like. So by the time we get there, will that be... Let's see, that's 20 days. I don't know if that'll be ready in time. I really want to use it, though. Uh, let's see. Oh, 25. So we'll just, we'll just let it do the timeline thing. And, uh... That way we can take it out. Okay, so we are here. We're going to take the contract. Uh, but the mech's not ready. Make it, yeah, it needs five more days. So let's jump onto the timeline. And we'll just do five days here. There we go. All right, now we're ready. And this is going to be assassination. So this will be a good one to test out our mech. We'll have to set the weapon group since we forgot to do that. Uh, but that shouldn't be a big deal. We'll go full money. And I guess as many shares as we can grab. Now that we're doing a different salvage system, we'll probably want to pick up more parts if we can. Okay, 270. Uh, let's just drop everybody for a second here, except for you. And let's get our new mech out of here. Let's, where is it at? Mad Dog. There it is. Got to paint it still. Now, I really do not like how it did the uh, the weapons, how it looks, but it I don't think I can control the placement too well. I mean, you can put them in order, but it still shifts them down, so it doesn't look the best, but it seems to work okay. I was kind of expecting... I was expecting one of those mediums to be... Okay, that's going to bug me. Let's look at it real quick, because we can always push the timeline. Why are you in a goofy spot? I saw that they were not in the same order. Do I need to remove them and re-add them? All right, let's do this. Let me just put you down here. One of these is low and one of these is high. Let's see, the, it's the right, it, it's the left torso that's weird. So we take it off. There, now they're the same. Now let's put the lasers back on. And that is called an ER. So that should be at the top, right? ER. Maybe is that at the bottom? I don't know how it sorts it with clan parts. Here, there it is, right there. Okay. So now if we put this here. Yeah, see how it's putting it up there? Why is it putting it there? I want it down there. That's goofy. If we take them both off. Okay. Can we put them back on? Without doing what you just did? So we put it right here. Okay. And then let's do the laser again. Yeah, I gotta go back up ER clan. And I'll put it right there. There we go. And zero days. So. Okay, the work there. There it is. There it is. That was so weird. I wonder why it did it the way it did it. But. All right. I like it. Let's. Since we're sitting here anyway. Let's do the weapon groups. So primary weapons, I like to do that. And then we'll make these three. And that needs to go with that because it's centered. Okay. I think that'll work. We don't have a way to punch or anything because we have no fists, no hands. I like it. And can we paint you? There's some neat uh, paint jobs. Ooh, that's cool. 
I really like that a lot. Let's. I'm not a fan of the Clan Wolf. I don't remember them looking like this in the uh, in like Mech Warrior Two. But it is what it is. Let's actually go. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's go into Battle Max, and I don't know if we can. I don't think we can paint them with the same skin that we're using like one of these, but let's just see what we can do. Let's do apply all. We don't want to select all, select none. And then we want to go down to that guy and apply it. Let's see, did that actually do anything? Probably not. Yeah, it didn't do anything. So, well, I'll, I'll play with it off camera and we'll see if we can get it. Maybe we just give it a skin for now. Uh, let's see. That's actually kind of cool. I don't think the mission we're on is really urban, but... Definitely uh, interesting. Ooh, I like the metal. Let's do metal. That looks cool. Okay, so we're finally ready. Sorry for the delay. We can... I think we can deploy, but we'll go back into it. Okay, so we are 70 tons short. We need to put someone in for this guy. What can you take? You can take an archer. Uh, Battlemaster's too big. Oh, that's too big. Grand Dragon actually wouldn't be bad. For an assassination, that's probably a good thing. Uh, we could do the Orion would put us over. We could do the DNA. I don't want to lose it. And Shadow Cat's an awful tiny guy. Uh, ooh, let's do the catapult. I like the catapult. That seems to be a decent mech. All right, finally, let's uh, let's jump. Walk on up to the treasure to pick it up. There it is. So it seems that despite your previous raid on the settlement, the people have only grown more resolute. A citizen has risen up to lead his people in rebellion, Josh Voisyth, the hero of the Capital and Commoners. He's rather brave, I'll give him that. But Duchess Soul has put a large bounty on his head. Okay, so let's go find our guy. I'm already loving the speed, and we have not put any tweaks or anything yet, which is something I can do this episode. Uh, I'll probably hold off. I've already wasted enough time uh, building in the episode, so I don't think I want to do any more of that necessarily, but uh, I'm excited. We get to use some more clans, so kind of got around the hurdle we run into. The one mech that I don't get to use is the Stone Rhino. When I converted it all, it only gave me one part. And I think I had like 20 or more, so... Not sure how it figures out how to do it, but... It's okay. Come on. Go down. Alright, what else we got here? That, uh, that did not go down as quick as I wanted it to. That's a big, big old vehicle. Let's get our team here. I do have missiles, so we will... Actually, I want to put the missiles on... I think Chainfire, maybe? There's no reason to shoot all volleys at everything. Okay, got those. Let's get you some more stuff. All right, let's... Oh, we got a Mac right there. We got a Mac right there. Right there. Let's just keep keep up the pressure, guys. All right, he's down. Let's kill him. Ooh, that hurts. We got all kinds of stuff. We're not taking him out very quick, either. Okay, what do we got? We're we doing on heat. Heat's not too bad. All right, guys, I need your help. Just cycling through. Let's finish him off. Let's go after him. I'm not used to firing missiles it's like uh, long range ones. That's definitely different for me, but it's working good. Oh, and he's got a longbow. Why do you like missiles? 
Got a, and I probably had this shooting me in the back the whole time. Okay, well, I definitely took some damage. But... Not horrible bad. Oh, oh, that's a worse trade. I love how fast they shoot, though. And something... Nice. Oh. Where is it? It's to our left. Okay, let's see what they drop. Someone looks like they're stuck coming out. How are we doing on missiles? Alright, you guys go after him. Ooh. Don't hit the clan mech. It's expensive. Alright, he's he's mostly fried. Let's Did we already kill the other guy? No way. You already killed the other one. They already killed the one that was over here. Are you serious? Wow. Can't tell if I I don't think I killed that. I don't remember, do we need a cantina? Do we have any cantinas we gotta get? Okay, yeah. We are one away from the harassers. Uh, although we don't really need it, I think it'll just be bonus money at this point. Uh, we took a beating. So did the Black Knight, so I want to get out of here. I think this is decent for non-clan parts. Definitely could be better, but uh, well, not bad. I think it went pretty good. Okay. Still issues with the damage model. I'm not going to worry about it. Let's see. Ooh. So you'll see we've got all kinds of parts now. So instead of full max, we get chunks of one. So it's a little little different to get used to from the rest of the playthrough. Um, so we could take we could take these longbow parts. We don't own any. Rifleman 3N. I mean, I guess that's what we'll take. And you'll notice they cost a lot. So we definitely won't be grabbing max near as easy as before, but that's that's okay. It was probably a little too easy to begin with. Let's see. I like that it shows owned a little clear, like as far as how many parts we need to buy. So I think that's kind of cool. Let's see. What do we want for one? AC5, probably the worst, worth the most. And uh, I did okay decent on damage. We did get beat up a little bit. And uh, the Black Knight did its job, but he got beat up too. Armor, at least. Somehow the Catapult did a lot without taking anything. So good on you. And we got an extra 1.2 million, so I will take that. Very nice. And I think that was the end of that quest line, so we're free to look around for another one. So what do we want to do? We, we had a couple that were close. So we got this one over here, Enemy of My Enemy. That's a fun one, I think. And Hazing the Weak. I know I've done that one many times before. And yet I still don't remember. It's a defense. But I don't remember really exactly what it is. And there was some up here, I think think towards the center maybe somewhere in here that might be the, the closest one enemy my enemy or hazing if we do hazing i can well if we do either one really i can afford to jump over let's see that one's a nine now i thought we had two or three more in the general area am i just not remembering where they were or were they farther above us? They may, Yeah, there was one over here. That was 11. Yeah, there they are. They're all up here. So those are 10s. That's a 12. What's this one up here? Another 12. Yeah, so some of the good stuff is right over there. So I think... Oh, and then we have another defense. Independence and Rebellion. So really, we're in the area we want to be, I think. There are some missions towards the bottom of the map. Like, we never did finish this one. Tributes for the Imperator. Probably should get to that at some point. 
And we're actually not far from it, so maybe... What's this one over here? Defending the honor and the enemy and my enemy. So should we maybe just make our way down? Do enemy and my enemy, then defending the honor, and then hit this one down here. And then we could come back up and do destabilization, since those are some of the easier ones that we left off, but these ones are harder. So that I think that would kind of work. We can just kind of make a loop. And I don't think there's anything left to do in Davian space. At least way over here. And I think we did most of the Karita ones too. In fact, I don't see anything high value in Karita space. Except for that one. Okay, I think that's a good plan. I think we'll, we'll do that. So uh, before we hit this one, let's jump back and do our repairs real quick. 20 days isn't bad. I believe we can sell salvage parts, so that is something that we will need to think about a little harder. Um, since we're not getting full max, and I'll have to double check the settings. I don't know if that V2 can let you even do full max. Uh, we were doing a, like a combo of those before, and I don't think you can now. Uh, why are we here though? I do want to do a couple real quick things. So, uh, liking the Mad Dog, and you know that actually may be accurate damage. We did we did take it on the face. Same thing with this guy. So it, that's probably actually accurate. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. You didn't get touched hardly. I thought maybe it was a glitch, but I don't think so. I think we really did get fried. Um, but I want to do repair on you. And as soon as we get clan weapons, we're going to put clan lasers on you. I want to do an upgrade though. And heat's nice. Faster cooling's nice. Um, I think we're going to do... We need the armor. I think it's worth dropping one of these. It's got 15 extra damage. Eventually, you know, actually, let's take off a little of the damage. Eventually, we can replace that with, with clan weapons that'll do more damage anyway. And probably not even be as hot. But that extra top speed, 15% top speed, is just too good. That's going to make us go from 64 to 74. I mean, that is huge. That's going to make the mech so much more viable. And the Crusader, all of them could use that. I'm not going to do them all at once, otherwise we'd have no money. And now that we're getting into clan stuff, it's starting to get a little expensive. Uh, I think that worked pretty well, though. It definitely looks angry. I like it. It wasn't bad. I mean, it's not as good as the original build, but we don't have the clan parts, so... I think, uh, I think it'll work. Do we want to put an upgrade on it, though? I don't know. Let's let's see how long that would take. We haven't done any upgrades. Not that it really needs it. Um, for now, let's just do the one. Yeah, that gives me up to 99. This is the fastest Mad Dog you've ever seen. I love it. 29 days is a bit. Okay, so I think we repaired everybody. We're good to go. We still got to work on you. We will do that later. Okay, so, actually, you know, I'm going to go ahead and check. I don't think there will be a lot of parts. Do we have... We don't... Okay, so some of the parts, the ones that were having problems, it seemed like it took them away. Okay, uh, for V2, but partial max from V1. Okay, so are we... Is it still putting V1 parts in the store? That's interesting. So, okay. So whenever I go to buy them, I may have to convert them. There may be an option somewhere I got to tweak to fix that. Um, or we just turn off the ability to get them. That may be part of it. Okay. So, we'll, yeah, I'll have to mess with that a little bit more off camera. Let's go do the mission. All right. We're going to go down here. And enemy of my enemy looks like it's... Uh, I don't know what type it is. Okay, so let's do the transmission. And they're not really big fans of us, so I don't think this is going to be worth a whole heck of a lot, but, uh, you know, still worth doing. Oh, actually, we are friendly with them. That's nice. We're actually friendly with both, so Davian's not going to like us anymore. It's another assassination, so we get two in one episode. That's, that's pretty cool. And a decent amount of money... But I also want salvage, because uh, they're pretty expensive to grab parts. 
Okay, and we can take a... This is definitely a more difficult mission. I think my Mad Dog's fine. But you two... Probably a little weak. What can we put in the third slot that can do some damage? PPCs aren't bad. That would give us right at 100. Okay, so... Hmm. Maybe we put... And he's really slow, too. The other thing... Our... Our mech's good to go? I didn't even look. We still have work orders. Oh, yeah, we still have work orders. So we need to be done with these before we take off here. So let's just do the timeline. Yep, let's get that done. Black Knight. Okay, now we're ready for the mission. And uh, we can take some pretty big guys. I kind of want to do... I really wish we had done the awesome with a upgrade, but uh, we'll take care of that next time. Uh, we could do the Marauder 2. Put that in the third slot. And that still gives us plenty, to, I think, to take the awesome. And we're right at tonnage. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. I don't want to put the Marauder 2 in the back slot because I feel like whoever's in the back slot is the slowest. And they will drag us down. Yeah, gosh, it's only got 48. That is that is pretty bad. We are so fast. I kind of I would rather be under tonnage and have something that can keep up. I mean, this is 64. That's at least an improvement. I think we'll go this route. That looks pretty good. We're under tonnage, but I don't think it's going to matter. Our primary target today is Captain Vanessa Jim, the commander in charge of a combat group disguised as Marik fighters. Be careful. She's an experienced fighter, and her troops are just as lethal. Okay, well... We don't know which one they're at, so I guess we will just tell everybody to show up. I'm kind of a skirmisher. Okay. Considering I have both medium to short range weapons, and then I also have the missiles. I don't really want to go flying in really quick. We will we will set up other mechs for that. Kill the Irby! Die! Big hit. Alright, he's dead. Anybody else want to take a chance? Poke your head out? Not really seeing a lot. I'm sure this is one of those missions that will get harder. Yeah, can we... Yeah, there's the awesome trying to do its thing. Ooh, now AMS might actually come in handy if they're going to shoot me like that. Okay, another one. Big tank. Yeah, that's about right. I'm gonna keep moving so I don't get hit by that. Ow. Trying to. Nice. Can you guys get him? Just trying to shield some of my weapons from uh, an explosion chance. The ER range on this thing is nice. Nice. Another one. Ooh, that might be enough to get us that cantina, but I guess not, or maybe I already got it. I just didn't see it. Okay, I think we're good. Let's go. Yeah, a little different play style for me. Usually I am uh, in their face with missiles, you know, short range. Uh, it's kind of nice, actually, having something else going today. I do feel like I'm cheating a little, though. The clan mech is so much more advanced. Even with non-clan weapons, it seems to do really well. Okay, we want to kill him first. I'm just going to keep pumping him with missiles. If that's the one we're trying to assassinate. Ooh, we can hit it from that distance, that's nice. Come on, guys. Okay. Oh, they are coming behind us. This is not cool. Okay. Yep. Alright. Ooh, taking some damage. 
All right, can we kill him? Cool, okay, I'm getting hit from behind, so we gotta get out of. We gotta get out of here. This is uh, this is more than I'm used to taking at once here. All right, let's kill you. All right, I'm gonna kind of start heading back here. Kill the Irby. Just gonna keep running after you. We're really hurt. Come on. I really wish I had. Uh... Okay, good. Kill him. Can't really hit you. Please, sir. I'd like another. Oh, no. There we go. Are we starting to thin things out? Because everything is focusing on me. And I don't like that. This was... Oh, no, an arm! Oh, come on. What else is over here? Warhammer 4L. All right, we're getting out. We lost both of our arms. We're out of here. This is more than I can handle. And our mechs are getting wiped. Woo! All right, when was the last time I had to run away from a mission? That's a that was rough. We're gonna need we're gonna need to not be so cocky. We need to bring some some big guys in for that because that was rough. ER laser short bursts are amazing. I want those. And we can't really take a lot of shares of anything. Like I said, I might adjust it a little bit here and there. Um, the cost is very expensive. Uh, I'm gonna have to grab another medium pulse because we lost the arms we had. And double heat sinks are always welcome. And three points, what do we want for three points? Probably an Irby part, sounds good. But uh, yeah, I took 300 damage off that. They were just focusing me down and uh, our awesome looks in rough shape too. Let's do some cleanup real quick. We do have a cantina, so we did finish that. Already had 10 on War Dogs, so that's just going to give us, you know, money and, and stuff. Uh, yeah, we will go to the next one next time for sure. But yeah, I lost my arms, both of my pulses. Ouch. Hurt one of my clan lasers too. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe.